Hi guys, it's Martina and today I'm here to film for you one video that is very highly requested. This is the first video in my How I Create My Stickers series and I am doing TV shows. My TV show stickers are one of the stickers that I get asked about the most so I thought today I would show you guys how I make them. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and if not, here we go. So the first thing that I do is go to Google and then search the show that I'm going to be making my banner for. So for this week, I'm searching for Teen Mom OG. Search that, then go to Images. And then you get all of these pictures. And I just look for the one that is a wide picture all kinds of stuff on here. We can go to logos and then just find one that's kind of a wider picture. You can pick just a picture of the logo, you can pick a picture of like the girls here. So this is one that I'm going to use. I'm just going to save it to my computer and then because it is a little bit taller then what I want it to be, I'm going to open up PicMonkey. PicMonkey is a website that I use to edit everything on. So I'm just going to click edit, open up that file. And then I'm going to go in and crop it just a little bit. To get it more the size that I want it to be. I'm going to save that. Next I'm going to open up a Word document. I like using Microsoft Word because it's a program that I'm familiar with. I've used it for everything. Basically I'm going to go to page layout, set the page borders or the margins to as small as it will go. So I set them usually to the top being the top and the bottom being a quarter of an inch and the left and the right being a half an inch. So there's that. I'm going to go back to insert, click picture, find that picture that we just did, which it is this one. It comes out like this. It's the full size page. So then you're going to make sure that you're on the Picture Tools tab. Come over to this button that says Wrap Text. Click that down and say In Front of Text. This just lets you move the picture around anywhere you want it to be. Then you're going to change the width. For the Erin Condren, it is 1.5 inches and that automatically makes it get really, really tiny. So we'll just zoom in on the page so you can see it a little bit better. And the height, you're going to look over here at the height and it is set at 0.68 and that's too tall. So I'm gonna squish the picture down just a little bit to where it is about a half an inch. That takes up about a quarter of a box. Then you can just go ahead and copy and paste it and then just line them up as many times as you want. Once you have all of your TV shows how you want them, you have them all on your paper, you just want to check and make sure they're all in printing range. So what I do is I just go to File, 
go to print. There's usually a print preview section or you can see the print preview right here. Just make sure that all of the pictures are fully visible and then you can print it. I choose to print on Avery label paper just because that's what's available to me at the moment and then I hand cut my stickers. So that is how I make my stickers for my TV shows. I print them off on Avery label paper and cut them out by hand and then just use them that way. Not all of my stickers are a half an inch tall or yeah, a half an inch tall. Some of them might be a little thinner, just depending. I used to make all of them a half an inch tall when I was still using my plum paper planner just because it would cover up two lines in there, but my Erin Condren doesn't have lines, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm not sure what my next video for this series is gonna be, so leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have any requests. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.